morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are all, all over the world. Michelle is here. Michelle is here. It is October the 26th, 2024. And it's a Saturday. What? Saturday vibe. Ah, wow. I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificent, and marvelous. Because I am. I'm doing fantastic. Magnificent and marvelous. How about that? I've been snacking on stuff all day long. And that's something I enjoy. It brings me joy. Food brings me joy. And I know for a lot of people that are struggling with their weight and this and that and the other. Food is... I'm not sure what food means to them. And they need to just be honest about it. They enjoy food. I do too. But with everything in life that we are met with, it just has to be properly balanced. And we are eating because we enjoy eating. We're not eating because we're trying to avoid what we're ruminating about. So just consider that. And again, be kind of gentle with yourself about certain things. Because a lot of people are going to discover a whole lot of stuff that they have been told for thousands of years has been nothing more, nothing less than lies, deception, and manipulation, and has nothing uh, even close about the truth. The truth is a threat. So, therefore, you know, let's criminalize this and let's criminalize that. Get people believing if they eat this, something's going to happen to them. If they eat that, something's going to happen to them. If they don't eat this, something's going to happen. So, it's just it's just manipulation across the board. But you do have to be discerning. You have to do your own research. You need to read the labels. And you need to uh, contemplate and decide, okay, what is the benefits to me? What is the benefit to my family? What is the benefit to our children? And just see if you can be creative about that and not make it such a, um, a battle within yourself about food. And, 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 and see how you can interrupt it being the love of food, the joy of food being incorporated with your weight. As it, it, it doesn't match up. Your weight is irrelevant. Your weight is not because of food. It's how you're managing food or not managing it. All right, so just consider that. So I came on today to talk about, you know, how all this stuff is swirling in the atmosphere about you know what someone had what someone had um may have been alleged to have done or what people are doing in this and that what is the truth is is something that is um something to consider i mean truthfully it's a um a, a something that has to be considered and it's something that has to be um uh, balanced in the negative and the positive of it, who benefits from it. And I've I put out many of videos on truth, many. And so, again, you have to, you know, I have to do the breadcrumb uh, analogy or the breadcrumb metaphor and, you know, not overwhelm people. But some people are just going to be overwhelmed because they, they you know, um, that's just how some people roll anything overwhelms them and a lot of it is manipulation not with p genuine people but a lot of people are um like to behave stupidly and behave ignorantly because they th they believe that people will shut the fuck up otherwise you know you know if you pr if you pretend to be stupid then you know so a lot of it is manipulation uh deception when it comes to wanting to know the truth so let me just share this real quick there's a lot of comp conspiracy theories out there about everybody you know the, the every icon that's ever lived <laughs> or, or any situation that has has uh developed in our lives uh activities and so forth and so on you know conspiracy theories create entertainment create a swirling of in you know in a sea of you know sometimes garbage 
Sometimes the truth is in there as well. So you kind of like swimming in garbage. The truth is in there somewhere, but it, it's so cloudy that you're not going to, in most cases, you're not going to be able to reveal it. And the truth for a reason has been um, dismantled to a point of, you know, some crimes, some, you know, some crime, criminal energy of crime, you know, the, the criminal elements of crime will not be discovered. And, it, and I've said that before. There's a reason behind it. Okay. Think about con what conspiracy theories can do. I know a lot of people are talking about it, wondering why we have an appetite for it. Well, that's intentional. That's the indoctrination part of conspiracy theories. All right. Let's see. See how much has been commercialized. Let me look it up. Conspiracy theories offer a a window of buying time how about that it's it's a um let's see what it says in here when you pull it up it says a conspiracy theory is an expl explanation for an event or situation that asserts the existence of a conspiracy generally by powerful and sinister groups, often political in motivation. Yes. When other explanations, explanations, explanations are more probable. So conspiracy theories are a profit, a profit making, um, I, you can say entity, but conspiracy theories are a profit Driven, driven operation. Okay. All right. So just see if you can picture what why I say that. So I told you the truth is a threat to pol politicians. Whether you know it's it's a it's a threat to the economic system. It, you know, can, um, the truth is a threat to those entities. Okay. Um, everything. Under the sun will be done to keep conspiracy theories running, keep the system running, because once it shuts down, okay, that's good. That's ca ca catastrophe, and and everything that that we've never ever experienced before since our except inception. Because again, conspiracy theories are profit driven; they are circulating for the profit of it all. All right, so here we go. So the truth is a threat, and the truth will will dismantle everything, just like the Wizard, Wizard of Oz uh, metaphor. And let's see what that says. The Wizard of Oz metaphor. Now, according to, you know, when you research it, it says here, um, it's a uh, metaphor for the political, economic, social events of America. Okay. You ever notice why po uh, politics always seems to show up, just like religion? Okay. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to that. So... The Wizard of Oz metaphor uh, is a revelation in itself, and it can represent, I mean, everyone has their own theories and opinions about the Wizard of Oz metaphor, and you ought to, you know, figure it out on your own and see, see, because at some point, once you start researching and putting pieces together, you know, it, it'll reveal itself. Um, but there's a lot of theories and opinions about it. A lot of people look at it as a, uh, an emotional attachment and some pe some see it as a sinister, sinister and a, a, a profit driven conceptualized program. Hope all that makes sense. Don't worry if it doesn't. My sounds and tones resonate. So what it, what it does, what, 
with com conspiracy theories again they keep the ball rolling they keep everything circling you know they keep it going and keep it going and keep it going and most of us have our have our attention into the conspiracy theories because they're entertaining and a lot of people believe that if they can just you know get all into it you know be all involved in conspiracy theories they'll find the truth there i beg to differ okay because the truth is the truth and the truth doesn't have to be mixed up in conspiracy theories but because a lot of us are not thinking for ourselves a lot of us are not changing our thinking modes we entertain these conspiracy theories and keep them going keep them rolling and Again, they create profit, but not for you, okay? They keep a profit for the hidden hands of our society. So as long as you can spin that conspiracy theory out there, you know, it's, conspiracy theories have more value than the stock market, by the way. And the stock market actually is part of those conspiracy theories. Figure it out, you know, en enjoy this. It's entertaining, you know, these are, my efforts are not to, uh, uh, you know, step on toes and, you know, I mean, there's some people in this pyramid style of leadership and they know they're, they know that the timing is right. They know the timing is near and it has nothing to do with except the energy of this planet, you know, uh, you know, you can only... You know, you can only fool yourself for so long, you know, in these conspiracy theories. So, just keep this in mind. Conspiracy theories are profitable. They create profit for people. Okay, whereas the truth doesn't. The truth is the truth. There's nothing tied to it that is about profit or about materialistic uh, attributes about you know so conspiracy theories are about profit that's the whole idea behind them they create conversations and discussions and it, it just keeps it going and going and going it's almost used as a, um, a delay tactic okay a delay tactic because a lot because a lot of people know that um we all die at some point all right we all get to an age to where we are ineffective and just hey just be honest about it we all will get we all will get to an age where we're ineffective meaning there's not much we can do about anything and in most cases if you live to an advanced age you know somebody is someone has to tend to you and take care of you so you, you've lost a lot of your uh, material uh, strength. In other words, to make a, an effective, uh, you know, to be in that uh, maneuver, in that deception of what conspiracy theories bring. In other words, it no longer values you once you get to an advanced age. You pass that on to your descendants. You pass that on to your lineage. You pass that on to your culture, but the but your culture, your descendants, you know, you know now they're carrying the ball of conspiracies, but they have a choice. Unlike any time ever in our existence, to whether they want to keep rolling in the dough, so to speak, or to stop that ball right there and decide, okay, do I want to continue this? For another generation, for another lifetime, you're dribbling the ball of conspiracy theories. Okay, when is enough going to be enough? A lot of you are waking up to understand that, okay, it's not about materialism. I want close interpersonal relationships with human beings, not technology. A lot of people are reaching out for that because they know that's where the value is. You know, it's about love. It's about universal love. It's not about how many cars I have, how I can manipulate this, this entity, how I can manipulate that. 
you know, that, you know, rolling around in that criminal energy. Some people, some descendants of uh, evil behaving uh, human beings, some of their descendants want peace. They want love because they know what it means to not have it because they were living amongst that. You know, they know what it means to not be loved. Okay, and they and they want that. And some of them need it because you evolve in in the understanding of the act of love with other human beings. Okay, it's not going to be with technology or artificial intelligence. And a lot of these these descendants, you know, the pedigree, you know, the offspring, they know that they are swirling in the same madness of uh, materialism and they want more they want to know who I am who they are what they are and why they are they know that there is a grander uh, purpose and intention with our lives okay so there's a choice that they'll have to make and I feel good because um, I, I sense that there's a lot of awakening and a lot of people that are that are familiar with criminal energy and they don't want to play those games anymore you know I don't want to be a player no more you know it's, a, it's, it's just a lot of um, revelation and, and and it's beautiful it really is and it's the signs of the time it's the sign of the times it's the sign of the timings is why that's happening you know some of some of are just like I said. Sometimes you can um, wake up one morning and realize, whoa, there's something different here, and it's not anything necessarily materialistic. It's something about the energy of it all, and it's beautiful. Trust me, it's something about the energy of true, genuine, universal love, true, genuine peace. You know, it's uh, it's unshakable. And some people get a tap of that. No matter where they are on the spectrum of being overly positive, which is just as dangerous as being overly negative. Sometimes you come to a neutral point where you get a glimpse of something powerful and beautiful that words can't describe. You know, that's happened to me numerous times. It's like, whoa, what's just happened here? And it's beautiful. You know, so that's why it's important to meditate, you know, and do things that no one has to know. Your family members do not have to know whether it doesn't matter whether you what, what your family does. Even if you are in a crime written criminal energy family, you can you can you can work your way out of that. You just have to be creative and know how to do certain activities where no one has to know. No one no one has to know what's going on inside of you and what you're doing. You have to be creative and figure that out on your own and change your perspective, you know, change your thinking modes. It's a beautiful um, activity. Um, I told you, when you're, when you, when you get off that spin of healing, 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 I like to bring that up a lot because it's not pretty trying to get off of that and it's no different than criminal energy. It is not pretty. It's not uh, all this other stuff that people say, you know, pay attention to that. Because you know, a lot of people that are say, talking about all this, this uh, beauty of awakening and ascending. Okay, a lot of them are cult members. Okay, and they're just regurgitating and, you know, following probably one person saying all that. Who are lying to them and deceiving them and indoctrinating them and hypnotizing them and blah, 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 blah. So see it as a journey of. Wow. rediscovering who you are, what you are, and why you are, and understand what is the purpose of conspiracy theories, and understand that it's profit-driven. Once you understand that, that ought to snap you out of a whole lot of stuff. Doesn't mean that no, I mean, you don't, like I say, no one has to know that. Okay, so you do have to protect your privacy, protect your innermost being. You know, nobody needs to know what's going on inside, you know, this, you know, inside of you. You know, um, and this, in most in most cases, about your subconscious and consciousness. Anyway, no one needs to know any of that that's happening. 
Just be creative. A lot of you are brilliant. A lot of you are fabulous. A lot of you are innately inclined as well. You understand the assignment. You understand the mission. You understand the intentions and purpose. But you do have to protect yourself. A lot of people have been assassinated because they thought they had the right to tell us the truth. No, 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 no. There are conspiracy theories for a reason so that you cannot get to the truth in your lifetime. And that's what they bet on. They say, okay, they'll be, you know, they, they won't have much strength to do stuff for so long. And that's true, sadly. Okay, but they, but those that are saying that in that pyramid are relying on their descendants. Keep that in mind. To keep it going. Okay. The truth is a threat. And it's a threat to anyone that's uh, hiding it. It's a threat. You know, descendants, like I said, pedigree. Um, you, just, you know, and a lot of you are probably in your, you know, just, just know that you can stop it right now. I know a lot of people talk about generational curses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's they, you know, I mean, it's all energy, you know, it's, it's criminal energy. What, you know, whether it's a curse or whether it's a witchcraft, you know, a lot of people get, have given it a lot of names. Like, you know, what is a curse? Curse on the family. And that has a lot to do with how they're thinking. Okay, a misfortune, mis misfortune to befall someone or something, evil or misfortunes that comes, you know, it's, you know, it's evil. But again, some of you have this knowing, you have a knowing about what's right and what's wrong. And, and you know, and some people say, you know what, I know, I, you know, and, and it's so crazy if people think clearly and effectively about what they're saying, um, you know, they come from a crime written, you know, they know their families are crime bosses. They operate in criminal energy. Well, a lot of people have decided, okay, but for a lot of people, it is dangerous. It's physically dangerous. So that's why you are not going to know who, you know, and the thing is, is when something like serious things happen to these high profile people, you never know who ordered it. And that's the whole idea. Think about that. So they have pawns, puppets, to do their dirty deeds and take all the blame. Be held in prison because, you know, they signed up for that. Okay. Um, so just, um, just breathe, <laughs> number one. Stay grounded. Okay, see these uh, discoveries within yourself as, um, you know, uh, joyful, you know, enthusiastic, you know, motivational, whatever you want to see. You know, that neutral positive energy, you know, that feels good, you know, it feels right. Find it as a, a you know, as a discovery of a lifetime because it is. And, but at the same time, be creative about how, you know, especially those of you like uh, that I'm addressing that come from criminal, you know, criminal elements. You know, you have, you know, that criminal energy is what is supporting your family, what is keeping food on your table. You know, it was, it was criminal energy that made that happen. Okay, but you also understood that you were not, um, you're just pedigree. You know, and you know, you know that you are necessarily unvaluable. You have no value as a human being. You're just a commodity. You're a commodity. Those of you that operate in criminal energy, you are a commodity. And you know that you're easily disposable. Um... And that, you know, you can easily be p replaced. Okay? So, so it says a mo commodity, something useful that can be turned to commercial or other advantages. 
You understand that? And so a lot of these pedigrees, descendants of this criminal energy, they know that they are not loved. That they, they know that they are they they are being um, ushered in to keep this going. They they believe that it's a family tie, but they know deep down inside that's a bunch of bullshit based on how they're feeling and their emotions and how they are just being disregarded year after year after year. Okay, so just pay attention to the conspiracy theories and understand that it's profitable. There's some profit behind conspiracy theories. Otherwise, they would have they disappeared thousands of years ago. But our thoughts keep conspiracy theories going. And at the end of the day, the cons conspiracies, uh, theories and opinion mean what? Not a goddamn thing. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and stop right now on this beautiful Saturday. And um, continue to work on some projects that I'm working on, you know, in the, um, in the range of helping. I'm going to make my impact. And I know others are. So, I'm, I'm, that gives me joy and enthusiasm. Unlike anything, you know, because you can easily get yourself trapped in that criminal energy, though. That's what you need to be very aware of where you are, you know, and and how you get yourself trapped in that criminal energy is how you treat yourself. That is the key. How you are treating yourself will cause you to start filtering yourself around and swirling yourself around in that criminal energy. Especially if you're comparing yourself to other people, you're being so concerned about your weight, you're being so, you know, overly, obsessively concerned about your weight, um, and that's the main one. Or you're just your image of a human being in general. If you just breathe, ground yourself, and, and understand that you are being used, you're being used to hate yourself. Hate your body, hate your ass, hate your breast, you know, hate your penis, hate your vagina. Okay, you're being used to hate uh, to hate that and create self-hatred within yourself. So just pay attention more so to what is going around going on around you and be kind and gentle with yourself and realize, okay, I'm in that span of negativity. And it's intentional. So grab it back. Grab back who you are. Take it back. Take back that energy that belongs to you. And remember, you need to be healed. Not, con not continually to be healing. Because that keeps you away from what it's, it's really is going on. It blinds you. Okay? So if anything you take from this video... Consider and think about it. Everything is about profit. Everything is about taking advantage of others. It is smoke and mirrors at the end of the day. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Again, to those of you operating in criminal energy, you know, you can stop this right now if you choose to. And reach out to me if you choose to as well. And help me, let me help guide you. Okay, and no one has to know. Peace of love and trust me. I'll be back.